Hello all, Project Wargaming here with an update on what I've been working on. So in a couple previous videos, uh, a long time ago really, I had gotten or tried my hand at uh, sculpting some 3D figures um, using, you know, green stuff and doing the whole rigmarole of doing that. Um, I did that. It um, was going pretty good and I was kind of happy doing it. But then I started the Berlin board and I got the idea to try to um, get some partisans because there's no partisans out there to print or no partisans out there to buy. No one really makes anything that looks like partisans in six millimeter. Um, that was something I wanted to purchase. So what I did was I tried printing some partisan 828 millimeter figures in six millimeter. And so this is uh, the result. And I was super impressed by how they came out. Um, so I kind of just lost interest in actually trying to physically sculpt the models um, because of that. Now, if you've watched my channel, you know that I love making things physically and making models and doing all the terrain stuff. And I love it. Um, I've had difficulty modeling in uh, the digital kind of realm. Um, I use CAD or a Tinkercad just to do some very basic things. Um, but I got encouraged to go back and try to do some modeling in Tinkercad again for some six millimeter figures. It seems like a good scale to do it at because, you know, you don't have to have the super detailed stuff that you would have in the 28 models. You can easily sculpt it or model it in a bigger scale. And then it's really super easy to just scale it down to the six millimeter size, um, which then of course compresses everything and you still get a decent amount of details, um, but you don't have to um, have the super detail that you would have in a 28 millimeter figure. So what I did was I went in and I actually sculpted some crossbowmen. And I have to say that I am super impressed by how well they, they turned out really. Um, it's pretty amazing how they uh, have come. Let's see if I can get this on here and get this up closer. So, yeah, I'm just super happy with uh, how well they turned out. This is just uh, printing them s flat on the base, uh, on the plate, print plate, from my Elegoo Mars. That's all it is. I have different scales here because um, when I printed them, this is kind of truer to the actual 6 millimeter scale in Tinkercad. So this is like six millimeters, seven millimeters high because I took in to account the uh, the base. Uh, but when I printed it uh, using Cheeto Box or whatever the program is um, for the Mars printer, um, they came out too small. So what I did was I uh, had to print um, some various scales and this scale is probably a little bit closer to what they would be in Bacchus. Um, and this one is right in there as well. Um, I have an Adler, some Adler figures here. Um, so you can see pretty comparable in size and scale um, to these. But um, yeah, just uh, pretty amazed with how detailed they were able to come out. I mean, you can see even there that it's got the little uh, foot stand for pulling the crossbow back and everything. Um, you know, some of them miscast or maybe even broke after I got them. Um, and it's just because this is fairly delicate there. Um, uh, so that's a little tougher. That's just something to keep in mind when I'm modeling. But the amazing thing is, is I have all the parts now in Tinkercad to make this crossbowman. So this is my first go. Now I could go back in and easily remodel these uh, figures into any pose that I wanted uh, using this without having to do too much. Like I could probably do it to get all the parts and pieces. I probably put about 10 hours into modeling and that's just my first go. And I'm sure there's guys out there who could do it way faster than I could, but now I could go back in and probably in a couple hours, get about four or five different poses out, out of this same, um, 
kind of grouping of, of uh, pieces. So that's a pretty amazing capacity to really be able to, to print models. And then when I do print them, I'm able to print them and probably print over 200 crossbowmen in an hour and 15 minutes. So yeah, I, it's just, it's hard for me. That's why I, I stopped trying to physically sculpt them in green stuff just because unfortunately <laughs> there's definitely a part of me that is unfortunate. I think this is the way it's going to go. And, uh, I, I love kind of the heavy feel of, uh, figures. I love the heavy feel of those metal figures on the table. And I love, um, you know, the artistry that goes into making those, um, figures by hand and casting them by hand. But unfortunately I think this is the way it's going to go. So, um, so I'm, this is the way I'm going to go. I really have no training in CAD. I've, my background as an art teacher and I had some, went to school for, for art. And so I have a good amount of background in that, but, um, I've not done a lot of computer aided design. And so this is a, a pretty big learning curve for me. Um, you know, I still think that they're a little stagnant to some extent, I guess is right. It's just a little stiff. It's probably a better word. Um, they, you know, it's hard to get, um, textures, especially it's really hard to get, um, cloth to look like it's folded, at least for me right now, I might learn a technique in the future that would, uh, be easier. Um, a male coif around the guy's neck is really hard to get any texture on that. Um, but in some ways there's even more detail. So like the little quiver on his side is pretty easy to do. Obviously the crossbow is pretty easy to do. Um, I th think you can actually print this stuff more delicate than what you can when you model it and cast it in hand, um, which is advantageous and disadvantage at the same time, right? Because they become a little brittle, um, but also um, you, you just lose some of it, I think, when it's not hand casted. So it just doesn't, it doesn't look as organic. Um, the the faces that I made here, they do have a nose and they do have an eye and a mouth and things like that on there, but it's really hard to pick those up. I think just because of the uh, printing process, um, the UV just um, doesn't allow doesn't allow that to take place. So, um, but you know, from a table, even from this size table or you know this distance, which is probably not even 12 inches from the, the camera. I mean, they look pretty good. And then you get them even farther away and it's going to be really hard to, uh, to tell the difference. And then of course, economically, uh, it's going to be just, just way cheaper. So I love Bacchus. I love Adler. I love uh, their figures and all that, but I'm going to really just try to, uh, model up some crusaders here, um, in CAD and get a, a crusader army together and then uh, try to print them off and see how it goes so that's where my uh, 3d modeling has uh, has gone and what i've been working on over the last uh, couple days uh, i've definitely gotten um, all my legionnaires painted and an auxiliary and things like that so anyways i thought it might be interesting to some of you guys um so i'm gonna keep you posted as i print and kind of refine i guess my skill here um as far, as far as doing it. So anyways, we'll talk to you later.